Now it's with my pleasure I would like to introduce a candidate for the Connecticut State Senate for District 29 to run against Don Williams, John French. Very much. It's uh, Duffy and uh, his wife Anne have been very persistent in trying to convince me to do this. It started back last year. <laughs> we'll play walking. So, um, so it, it's um, I have uh, kind of delayed. I've been discussing this with my wife. We know how much it's going to take time away from family and also a businessman. And uh, this week, uh, finally decided that. I've had enough with the state of Connecticut the way it's been run, especially by Don Williams. We need to go out, we need, you know, I'm, a, I'm proud just like you are being an American. Proud that you're in Connecticut. But I'm not proud on the way Connecticut runs that it, it is the, one of the least available places for the elderly and the retirees to be able to live. It is more business unfriendly than any other state in the country. Its energy costs are skyrocketing through the roof. Gasoline costs. We need to adjust this. This thing right now that you're hearing nationwide about the minimum wage, for instance, we're gonna raise the $2. Well, what happens to the people that were at $10? Is there a sliding scale that goes to 12? And the people at 12 go to 14? How come the Democrats don't give you the whole picture? It's a real feel-good thing to say, I'm going to raise minimum wage, but yet it's causing a problem all the way up through. So inflation hits. So what happens down the road? Those people that went to $10, the value of that $10 is back to 80. It doesn't make sense. We need to work within our system. I have been a Wyndham resident all my life. Uh, we have a long history in Wyndham. I have uh, served on the Board of Finance uh, since 1986. I, I started Board of Finance three years later and became chairman, and I ran as chairman through 1998. We did a lot of things. I was a very hard chairman. We went through the debacle of an income tax. Remember that? Yeah. Governor Weicker. Well, running a budget, Weicker one year took a, th a million dollars out of my general fund budget put it into education. Well, that's okay, except for the local town budget was only 10 million, the Board of Ed budget was about 40. So I felt, my, my conviction is, everybody's gonna share equally. So I ended up locally not funding a half a million dollars. I broke it up so it was fair for both sides. Well, the next year, what did the legislature do? They came up with the MER, Minimum Educational Requirement, which means you cannot reduce the amount of money locally, no matter what kind of condition your town is in. And of course, the MER now is the MBR. Now, we're all seeing less and less students in the school system, but yet we cannot reduce. Columbia, for instance, our next door neighbor, had like 35, 40 students less. They actually went to court to try and lower the MBR. They were refused. Why is it when you have less students, you still have to pay the same dollars? Right now, as I said, Board of Finance was where I ran until 1998. Right now, I'm on the Board of Education in the town of Wyndham. We're doing a major restructure, and uh, for us, we're, I feel that we have to work within our system that we have, the money we have, because we're a poor community. Saying that, in the last two years, our budgets have passed for the first time, the first round. But that's because our budget moved only about one and a half percent over what the previous was. Because I feel that we have to fix our problem first. The easiest thing for a Democrat to do is say, we're going to throw money at the problem. I want to find out what the problem is, and then if we need the money, we're going to justify it. That's what's important. And that's what I stand for. And this is why gun control was, is totally illogical because it's a mental health issue, and they took the gun control issue and, and made it a cheap way out. That needs to be changed. How about early release of prisoners? That shouldn't have happened either. Uh, and, and bonding, bonding's out of control. I love the way that you can have 
a cap in the state, and then all of a sudden everybody figures out, well, we can take out two billion dollars out of the federal uh, funding, so now our cap is, we've got two billion dollars more that we can play with. That's not how to treat the people of Connecticut. We need to be fair, we need to be open, we need to be honest. And that's what I'm gonna try and bring to the Senate. So I need your help, this is gonna be a big fight, taking down somebody pro tem Don Williams. But if we all pull together, I think we can do it. And I can't wait to meet all of you people at the town committees that uh, we're gonna be entering. Thank you very much. for the 29th district people out here. Most of the room, right? How many people are from Connecticut? Everybody. We need to take out Don Williams. He's the pro tem board. He's been in office for 20 plus years. He needs to go. I need your help. This is my party, and I'm asking you to donate to Don, to, not to Don Williams. majority of you in here are from the 29th district. We need your signatures. We need your contributions. We need to get him out. We need to start it tonight. We can get almost 300 signatures tonight before you walk out of this room. He has his contribution forms ready. My husband has a stack over here. Please, we all need to work together and change the Senate. We need to change the House in Hartford. We need to get a new governor. Help us out. Thank you.